from the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube, covering Koopa Inspire 2019. Brought to you by Koopa. Hey, welcome to The Cube. Lisa Martin on the ground at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas for Koopa Inspire 19. This is a really exciting two-day event. We're going to be here covering, talking all about spending smarter. Very pleased to welcome to the Cube for the first time from KPMG, Deepan Karamsi, Procurement Advisory Practice Leader. Deepan, welcome to the Cube. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Appreciate it. So this is an interesting event. Coupa, in the last few years since becoming a public company, is really seems to be on this rocket ship. The momentum that CEO Rob Bernstein talked about this morning. Yep. There's now 1.2 trillion dollars of spend transactions going through the Coupa platform across companies in every industry from manufacturing to healthcare to retail. Loads of opportunity for businesses of any type to really get that control and visibility on spend. Talk to us about what KPMG is doing with Cooper. You're both a titanium sponsor here at Inspire 19 as well as a partner, but give us a little bit of overview of your partnership with Coupa. Absolutely. So we've actually been coming to the conference for seven years now, I think since the very beginning, and uh, been a top level sponsor since the very beginning, so it's been a fantastic relationship where we've helped a number of the customers that they talked about today. A lot of those customers were ours, and we've had the opportunity to kind of get them live on the platform and see success by bringing spend through the platform and getting the visibility of those transactions. So. Uh, we're fortunate enough, we have 100 plus clients globally that we've been able to bring live on the Coupa platform across 90 plus countries, and so we're really excited to be here. So, some of the things I was reading about Coupa is that a lot of times in the beginning, yep. the last 10 years or so, companies came to them looking for help with procurement or invoices. Now, they're able to help companies get that visibility over all spend across procurement, invoices, um, expenses, travel management, payments. Talk to us about how you help some of those joint customers to really go from that siloed approach, going, all right, we've got a few things under control, yep. to getting that visibility because there is a tremendous amount of business impact that can come from getting that visibility into where all of your spend is coming from and where it's going. That's right. So. You know, I think in the beginning days, as you kind of mentioned, right, it was important to get the majority of the spend on the platform. And so you looked at your indirect spend categories that are most commonly purchased, you get them onto the platform, you start analyzing that, more effective sourcing, drive value out of those categories. And as you look at the different categories that companies are spending in, they're evolving. More services spend, might be different categories in marketing, digital media, et cetera. And so, as Coupa has expanded, they focused on some of the other categories and how to bring them in. So they bought companies that focus on contingent labor and those types of things. And so you start bringing all that spend together and now all of a sudden you have a very nice pool of data from which you can analyze and from which you can make better decisions from. So it's going to be a constant kind of proliferation of the, the tool and it's going to get broader and I think that's fantastic because organizations can see exactly what they're doing in a lot of different areas. Wouldn't it be nice if we all had that visibility in our personal lives as well? <laughs> Well, speaking of your relationship, you mentioned this is your seventh year sponsoring Inspire. Let's talk about how the role of procurement is changing yep. and the role of finance, going from more ta tactical to much more strategic, thinking about some of the disruptors like consumerization. You know, we, we're all consumers and we have this, we all have Amazon on our phone, right? And we have this expectation that in our personal lives, we can get anything at any time with a right. click of a button. And now, when consumers are business buyers, we want the same thing. Talk to us about what you have seen at KPMG as that procurement role has changed and what makes your implementation with Coupa unique. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly right. You put it exactly right there. You know, consumers or your employees internal to the organizations are looking to buy in the way that they buy at home. They're looking to have visibility into when the, the shipment is, the products are going to arrive. They want to provide ratings as to what they thought of those products. They want to be able to have visibility into what they spent. And in fact, where it's going is they want to be uh, alerted when they should be buying something else. I mean, a lot of the spend can actually be predicted as to what's going to be happening. And so think about an application that's going to alert you. It's probably about time that you need toner for this printer, or it's probably about time that you need XYZ to come in and do this service for you. And so moving to that as you analyze the spend that's going to the platform is exactly what's, what's happening. And I think it makes lives of employees 
better, easier, and it makes it a little bit more effective to kind of get spun through the application as well. When you're talking with customers, whether they it's been a man or a woman who's been a CPO for a long time, where are they in terms of being receptive to having these predictive technologies? Is that a big cultural mind shift within whether it's a large manufacturing company or a smaller healthcare insurance carrier? It is. I mean, it, the reality of it is with the data to be predictive, there's a lot of things that have to be evaluated in the back. So you have to have clean supplier data, clean spend data, you have different applications that are integrating and you need end-to-end -end visibility in order to have a data set that's long enough and accurate enough to be able to predict from. So, it's one thing to say, okay, we're going to go predictive, but it's another thing to be able to have the data to be able to accu accurately predict. So I think procurement organizations, kind of back to your other question of where are they going, you know, historically, procurement hasn't been one of the areas that CFOs are the first ones to jump into. And uh, I think what organizations are realizing and what the C-suite is realizing is, this is the one place in the organization where we can see most of our third party spend. And so procurement has to quickly grasp okay, how can I get a handle on that information to be able to make better decisions and so show value to the organization? So that's how procurement's getting into the game. I think that's how they're going to show their value by making that data set accurate and that will lead them to kind of that predictive aspect of it. So what are those, what's the conversation like in terms of going, all right, there's many, many sources of data mm -hmm. where we all know, you, you hear all the time, data is the new oil, data is gold. Yeah. It is if you have the ability to, like you said, make sure it's clean, but also be able to extract valuable insights from it faster yep. than your competition. So from an infrastructure perspective, where does KPMG start with implementations with Coupa? Are you first, doing assessments with customers to understand all of the different data sources, how best to bring them together so that the power of AI can actually be applied to this massive pool of oil? That's right, so we start by kind of looking at the target operating model. What is it that the span of control for procurement is going to be? What is it that they want to do? What is it that they have ownership over? Then we identify kind of what are the technologies that are in place to house some of that information to help you make better decisions and to ultimately serve your end customers. And as we identify that architecture of what's going to be needed in the future, that's when we start getting into how we create and develop that oil infrastructure. And so, as we look at the gaps in the infrastructure, an application like Coupa can plug in with the appropriate procure to pay process, with the contracting process, with sourcing, spend analytics, whatever that may be, and it helps to plug the different gaps that allow you to kind of get all that data into one place. Allowing customers to, as Coupa says, spend smarter. I wanted to get your opinion on this BSM category that they mm -hmm. are working to develop and lead. Business spend management. You guys recently, KPMG did a, a study on the future of procurement. Tell us a little bit about some of the interesting insights that came from that study and where you think business spend management is really going to be applicable and a big driver of business value. Yeah, so it's, that's great. And um, I think business spend management, you know, it continues to expand. I mean, what Coupa has been doing every year, you've been to these conferences, is continuing to expand their portfolio and the modules that they have in order to kind of attack business spend management. And it's an important factor. A lot of spend happens through procurement and they need to have the application infrastructure to manage that. In the future of procurement, we talk a little bit about supplier centricity and customer centricity. So how is it that you're being able to work more effectively with your supplier, share information. Can they actually log into the portal and see what the ratings are on the products that people are buying from them? I mean, that's where we're kind of moving to. Customer centricity, giving them that Amazon-like experience so that they can go in on mobile and go in on any which way they want to, buy the things that they want, or be prompted to buy the things that they want. How are you innovating in categories? How are you using external data insights? You know, the days of having that 20 year category manager who knows one category sitting in one place, it, it's just not possible anymore. There's so much data and information out there, you have to be able to leverage all the external insights. And then of course, using the digital platform to bring everything together. And uh, that's where kind of Coupa plays and the other e-procurement solutions of bringing all those insights together, allowing the foundation to be set so that you can execute on the processes that have to happen within we it. We talk a lot about customer focus, customer centricity, Rob Bernstein talked about it this morning. To get a little bit more into what you talked about with KPMG in terms of supplier centricity and some of the value mm -hmm. that all of these suppliers are getting, how are, how is KPMG helping some of these suppliers to really dial up their business, get better insights, 
and really make a bigger impact with what they're delivering. Yeah, I mean, it's a really about visibility into the transactions that are happening and how, the, how their clients are using their products or services, right? So the more you can analyze around spend patterns about the products that are being purchased, not purchased, what your, you know, the, the, the rigor of the catalog environment that's being created for your clients, the more they can analyze around that, that allows them to be a little bit more focused in the, the way that they're dealing with their customers. And so we talk a lot about creating a very content rich environment. I mean, if you went to Amazon today and you didn't see a picture, you didn't see ratings, you didn't see a description, would you purchase something? No. no. <laughs> and, and that's what's happening inside organizations. Gone are the days where you have one line item that says this is it and you don't know what you're buying. And so creating this content rich environment which is allowing and requiring suppliers to get into the environment to create their robust catalogs is really important. And so suppliers are going to be a big part of what they're doing in the future to create this kind of appropriate spend management platform where the catalogs are set. And really getting on board to harness the power of that data. To your point, we have the consumerization effect is so strong. We have this expectation That's that right. we can get anything. And one of the things that uh, Google was talking about this morning in the general session was not only the data, that they are now harnessing the power of for their customers, for their suppliers, but also let's let's allow companies to go through the Coupa platform and search through, you know, software and products and deploy and manage and pay everything through that, bringing that consumerization approach to businesses in any any industry. That's right. That's exactly right. So having it in one place makes it a little bit simpler, the visibility's there. I think the other thing that we're going to see a lot of is just self-service. I mean, you walk into an airport, you do your own boarding pass, you come out of a parking garage, you pay for your parking and you leave. There's no people involved and frankly, consumers like that. So being able to create an environment when you can do self-service and things are being pushed to you to make decisions from versus having to go out and do a tremendous amount of research to make decisions is going to be a huge factor. I mean, even in the area of supplier risk management, having bots and things that are mining social media in different areas for what's happening with your supplier so that you can be alerted to an event prior to making a large contractual obligation with them. You know, those are the types of things that we haven't seen in the past, which I think we're going to get into now. It's so exciting, Deep, and I wish we had more time to get into it, but thank you so much for stopping by theCUBE and sharing what you guys at KPMG are doing to help customers really extract a tremendous amount of value and spend smarter. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. For Deep and Karamzi, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE from Coupa Inspire 19. Thanks for watching. Oh, my God.